Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So before we get started on anything, I need to ask you guys and gals two things. I'll tell you one and ask one. So the first thing I'm gonna ask is to please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon. Really helps us, you know, keep it going, keep these uh, videos coming and helps us beat the YouTube algorithm so more people see the videos, which means more likes, which would be very nice. The next thing is a tell, and it's me telling you thank you for liking and subscribing and doing the blah, 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 blah. So really appreciate that. Uh, next thing I want to do is kind of random, but I want to do a quick shout out to everyone who has helped me build this uh, collection of Hot Wheels. So I'll just show you guys what's going on real quick. Nothing too, too crazy. But some dope cars. Really appreciate it. Thanks to my fiance and Max and Mike and everybody who's donated to that collection. Much appreciated. Also, another quick thing before we get into the main point of the video, which you guys already read, uh, but uh, releasing the color scheme for the engine. So here's all the parts that we've cleaned out um, and painted. So you guys can see already we're going for the uh, brushed gold kind of look. Uh, so it's going to be dark gray or like a pewter color and gold is going to be the uh, color scheme for the entire uh, build so hopefully it works out well we're going to go for gold on the calipers too and get rid of the yellow because i'm kind of getting a little tired of it and it also looks like a mcrace car because red on yellow or yellow on red or however you want to put it but anyways what you guys are here for we got the box right here Thank you to AZ Euros for helping me source these. Uh, the pistons are very hard to find right now. I don't know what it is. Well, it's the same thing with everything. Uh, supply is low, demand is high. It's hard to find things. And thank you very much to them uh, for helping me out. We got these here. I'm gonna link them down below. Follow them if you guys are in the Arizona area. There is no better shop to get your car serviced at. Check them out. Uh, but let's get right into it. I'm going to put this box up here and I'm going to put you guys up there like we always do. And we're going to open it up. All right, so we have our box here. Uh, nothing on the outside of the box because this is just our general shipping box. Thank you to FedEx for delivering these on time and uh, ridiculously fast, actually. But here we go paper our nice JE box get this out of the way and this is what we're concentrating on so we got JE pistons up top side 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 bottom uh, so just going over specs for the pistons uh, so these are 82 millimeter, uh, so one millimeter overbore. Uh, we're gonna go for the overbore because the uh, cylinders had a bit of a la, little lip on them at the top. So we're gonna get that cleaned up, um, go to the 32, sorry, 82 millimeter, and that'll also give us a tiny bit more displacement. Not really much, but hey, anything helps. Uh, so this is the model number for the ones we got. They are JEs, they are forged and they are also compression dropping. So we're gonna go from uh, 10 to one uh, to nine to one. So our new compression ratio is that nine to one. It'll allow us to run a little more boost, a little safer on pump gas, which is what we're gonna be doing for the most uh, part. So E85 would help a lot if we're gonna keep the compression ratio the same, but you know, E85 is not the easiest thing to get uh, around here. So definitely pump gas. This is why we went with these. All right, so we're gonna open these up and see if I can figure out how. Okay, here we go. So this side, we have to flip over. We have our circ clips or retaining clips uh, up here for the pins. Bunch of JE pistons. Contingency decals is what they call them and toolbox decals. It's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna put these on something. We'll figure it out. Okay, so before we get into the rest of it, we have our ring sets for all the pistons. So nice that they come with a ring set. That way we don't have to guess as to uh, what rings to put on our pistons. So here is all of our rings. 
Nice. We'll get those back in the box. We have all our pins. So all six of them in here. Very nice looking pins. Pretty thick. I think those will be more than enough. And then we have our pistons. So first of all, I picked up this box, felt like I picked up nothing. These are crazy light. And uh, I'm actually gonna whip out our kitchen scale again and get an idea of weight with these versus uh, weight for the OEM pistons, which we have one of right here. So we're gonna do a quick comparison as well. So we'll look at that in a second. So we have one here, one here, and four down here, totaling six. So we're not missing anything, which is great. Uh, but let's open this up. And here is our fresh new piston. So again, deeper dish, dropping compression. Uh, we have all our ring lens here. Pretty thick one for that oil control ring. Um, our pin bores, then at the bottom here. We have a full skirt all the way around, which is nice. Adds to the strength of the piston. Uh, we have the part number down here, and we also have JE. Looks like it's laser engraved in there. Looks awesome. We also have a skirt coating, which is very nice. Uh, helps prevent wear, uh, which is very important as well when it comes to uh, these pistons. And what I mean by these pistons is uh, forged pistons tend to expand a little more than cast pistons. Uh, so these are going to be a little smaller in the bore than if it were to be a cast piston until it heats up and, you know, fills itself out. Uh, so uh, the slapping of the skirt on the sides might be a, a, a thing at first startup before the pistons heat up a bit. So it's nice to have this anti-wear coating. It'll help protect not only the piston, but also the cylinder walls which is very, very important. All right, so we'll take a look at that more closely in a second. So I'll put everything else back in here. We don't need it right now. Okay, so here we have our piston. Um, I'll bring it up, give you guys a closer look at it. That way you get you know a nice close-up of what we're looking at here. Again, it's a JE 82 millimeter forge piston. Compression dropping, so this brings our compression down from 10 to one to nine to one for the 12 valve VR6. And this should also give us a slight bit more displacement again since we went with the uh, wider bore. Nothing much, but bring us, uh, I think, a little closer to 2.9 liter, a baby 2.9 liter. So everything looks great. Again, we have that piston coating, uh, sorry, that skirt coating to reduce wear. Pin bores. All our ring lands look good. I'll inspect the rest of the pistons in a bit just to make sure everything's fine. And I'll bring in the stock one really quickly and that way we'll take a look. Uh, you could see there now the differences are very slight between these two. It's just a bit of a larger dish on the JE uh, to drop that compression ratio a bit. But the rest of the pistons are almost identical except for the weight, uh, which we'll take a look at in a bit. And of course the strength. So the forge pistons are definitely stronger than what you get with a cast piston, just like what uh, we looked at when we we're looking at the rods as well. And both of these, of course, being aluminum. All right, so I'm gonna get these rings off of the OEM piston, and then we'll take a look at the weights. All right, so I'm recording this on my phone uh, for a few reasons. One, I don't have my camera with me right now, even though I'm home. Uh, we're switching cameras, so the other one is gone. And then this is actually like three weeks after I rec recorded the first part and the end part of this video, but I had an issue with recording the weights. So we're going to do this on the phone. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we have our scale out and behind that, you see the beach towel, the beach towel is covering up all our other engine parts, not because I'm trying to hide them from you, but just so they don't get dusty or any of the other garage stuff falls on them. But we have our forge JE piston here. And then we have our OEM cast piston here for the 12 valve VR6, 2.8. So we're gonna throw the stock piston on, uh, make sure that zeroes out, perfect, zeroed out. And there we go, we're looking at 318.9 grams. So when we throw this forged piston on, which we will right now, the 
weight difference probably won't be very big at all, if any. But remember now, we are gaining strength not only in materials, but also in the way that it was made. So here we're looking at 304.5 grams. That's about 14, 15 grams of difference between these two. But we're going from a cast piston to a forge piston. So the way that they were made is stronger. So we gain strength there. And we're also gaining strength from the material used in this piston versus what was used here. Um, and we're saving about 15 grams, which, you know, <laughs> might just be all the crud that's on this one. So if we, uh, you know, were to clean this out perfectly, we'd save a few grams, not 15, but, you know, the, the, the difference wouldn't be as big. But that's what we get here. So about 15 grams of difference between the two. It is 15 grams at the end of the rotating assembly, which is very nice. Uh, so the further the mass is from the center, which is the crank, the more effect it has on it. So these 15 grams are multiplied in that way. Uh, so it's definitely still a solid difference between the two, but nothing major. Okay, so that's all I had for you guys today. This is a quick one. Uh, I'm gonna go get ready because we gotta drop these off at the machine shop so they can go ahead and finally bore our 2.8 out uh, to fit these. And we can finally get the block back into this garage. I forgot where we were. Anyways, yeah, we can finally get the block back into the garage, get working, put the heads on, and uh, you know, start the actual build. So uh, pretty soon we'll, we'll, pretty soon we'll be working on all that. Uh, so stay tuned, get subscribed so you guys can see what's coming up. And um, also, there is a bunch of people in comments for other videos that have mentioned one thing in particular, and it's why did I abandon the 2.7? Um, first of all, I did not abandon, wink. Uh, so that means there's more coming for a 2.7. And second of all, uh, we'll be talking about that on a future video. So we'll be, you know, explaining why I'm shifting um, and when we'll have a 2.7 back in A or the garage. So stay tuned.